use of pre-chopper and oil hook in the management of a cataract with IFIS. This patient has diabetes, hypertension and BHP, benign enlargement of the prostate for which the patient is on tamsulosin. There is some amount of subconjunctival hemorrhage after peribulbar block. So, probably we should have done this case under topical anesthesia. Let us see management of the nucleus using pre chopper and eye hook. After making the main incision and a side port, the anterior capsule has been stained with tripan blue dye. Now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Now I take a uterator forceps and do the rexis. As I complete the rexis, I find that the people has started to become small. I continue with hydrodissection and we can see that the iris is extremely floppy and it is going to be very difficult unless we use some other technique than what we do in such cases. This is the pre-chopper and a sustainer and I divide the nucleus into two heminuclei. Rotate and divide on heminucleus into two fragments. Lot of visco has come out. The anterior chamber has become shallow, so I inject some more visco. Take a hook, rotate, get the heminucleus to be divided in front, some more visco, and use the pre chopper and sustainer again to divide this heminucleus into two pieces. So we have got four fragments. Now I inject visco and introduce the feco needle. The oil hook is to retract the iris so that it does not come to the tip suddenly. As long as the antechamber is deep, the iris is and now the chamber has become shallow and I need to come out. Inject visco again, make the antechamber deep. And this time I go only with the hand piece and emulsify the nuclear piece. But a portion of a piece is stuck to the cornea. So, I inject visco, move this lens matter inferiorly, now I go again with the hand piece only and remove this lens matter. So, the nucleus is managed and now inject some visco. and use a 23G Simco for removal of the cortex.
cortical cleanup is done. Now in IFIS, it's not a good idea to do hydroimplantation. Suddenly the iris may come out through the main port. So it's better to use visco, fill up the capsular bag, fill up the anterior chamber, let the iris go backward and comfortably implant the lens in the back. And now we just have to remove this visco that we have used for implantation of the intraocular lens. The lens has been placed in such a way that we can go behind the lens easily. Now, visco is being cleaned first with the help of this 23G Simco and then we will use bimanual irrigation aspiration for removal of the visco completely. Go behind the lens, irrigate the irrigate and aspirate the capsular bag and come out. Take the bimanual irrigation aspiration. Remove the visco from the anterior chamber and now this is a bit of moxifloxacin. Then the side port is closed hydrating corneal stroma. And finally a lavage is done. Antichamer is nicely formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.